Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the beautiful No Ink, Connecticut. That claw. Look at that claw. And today we're going to do a little bit of a lobster tour of Connecticut. We're going to specifically eat the legendary Connecticut lobster rolls. It's going to be a beautiful day. It's a cold, windy, but luckily not raining right now yet day. And I'm very excited to share this food tour with you of my first day in Connecticut. Let's go eat. Thank you. Ciao Gaetano, grazie di tutto. <laughs> so, first place we are today is called Abbots in the Rough in a small town, No Ank, Connecticut, with a name like Abbots in the Rough. You know they're doing something right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're ready. You guys ready for some lobster yeah. in Connecticut? I'm so very excited. Our first place. Connecticut butter style. Jessica, We've not had a Brian. Because all the Connecticut rolls in Maine are cold. Yeah, right. Near so the hot oh. butter. So this yeah. is the first real Connecticut. So Connecticut roll. specifically is warm butter. Is that right, Chelsea? Yeah, that's right. Hello, oh, Come hello. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Very excited to be here. I love the location. We're on the harbor. Literally, like, I mean, you could just step off of Abbott's in the Rough and be in the water and be swimming. But you walk in, it's out, all outdoors. They have, of course, a full selection of different seafood, steamers, mussels, clams. And they, of course, specialize in lobsters in the rough. That's like seven? six pounds? Yeah. Seven? It's six almost seven. between yeah. six and seven. Wow, huge. claws are massive. This is like, that's... real. I can show you the picture of me holding it. No way. Wow. That's the claw? Yeah. Do you do you find them like that often or that's um, rare? I mean, 23 pounds is pretty it's, exceptional, um, but we is... have up to at least 10 pounds in regularly. Can I hold this? Wow. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, this oh, is that's, just... Yeah. Yeah. It's like that's that's the size of a... I don't know, size of my head. <laughs> that's the size of a boxing glove. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Go straight into the steamers? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. All these steamers are amazing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You don't, you don't see it. With like the wheel. Yeah, you don't see it. You gotta crank the wheel. Crank the wheel, turn it on. How old are these steamers? These are original from the 50s. Wow. So cool. Yeah, you don't see it. It's like a locomotive. Yeah. Any steamer, any cooking device where you have to turn the wheel to close it, I'm in love with. And you just step into this kitchen and the aroma of steam it's just a literal cloud of lobster steam that you can smell. It's so good. So you're gonna make a classic Abbott's, what, the LOL, which is, means lots of lobster? Could you kind of show us, like, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of lobster. First of all, they steam the lobsters. The lobsters are not boiled, they're steamed. Then what I like is that they're de-shelled and instead of chopping the lobster or keeping the whole pieces of lobster, they're kind of the hand shredded. I, I, I love the hand shred because you got the stringiness of the, the lobster. Uh, those go into a measured cup and then it's very simple actually. All they do is toast the bun put the fresh lobster, steamed lobster, into your roll, into your bun, and then serve it with butter on the side. Oh, beautiful. Is that just juice that comes out of the lobsters? Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah.
That's awesome. Skills. How many lobsters have you cut? <laughs> How many a week? <laughs> oh, a week? I wish I could count. <laughs> you know what's funny? At least. You know what's funny is I, I come in in the morning and I'm like, I'm going to keep track of what I count of what I cut today. After one, I count. This one might be spray. No worries. No worries. Boom. Crack that claw. So we learned that's the blood on that. That is how you chop up a lobster. And then straight to the chopping board. Skills chopping those up. Just precise cuts, cracks that claw open. Beautiful. Seagull steel mules. They have this indoor section, still open air, still beautiful. They have a tent, but truly the beauty of this place is this outdoor lawn, which is, you could literally step off the edge and be in the water. It is a little bit rainy and a little bit, well, quite windy. So that's why there's only us out here today, but this is the most beautiful place to sit in the whole, whole place. But we're waiting for the lobster rolls, but we've got two different chowders. They have the clear version, and then the New England version is the creamy Great. version. Cool. I've, I've never, never had you, the clear. That's awesome. It, yeah, it should be fun. All right, so I'm gonna try this clear. Not, a, it's not clear, but it's not. It's definitely clean, creamless. You see the pieces of clam in there. Mmm. Oh wow, that's possibly the most clammy tasting chowder. Oh, it's so good, actually. You can literally taste seawater mm. in that chowder. Oh, you know, like, okay, cream is amazing, but it does often mellow out flavors. The clam flavor is undistracted by cream. That's undiluted and undistracted. That is straight up seawater clam, the cream yeah. version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's a chowder though. Wow. Like, oh, it's so good. It's probably one of the more condensed clam tasting versions of chowder that we've had. It's not, it's actually, even the creamy version is not that rich. No. Not that creamy, but it's, yeah, undeniably clam seawater tasting, which is, in my opinion, quite spectacular. Here it comes, the lobster. Thank you. Whoa. What a tray, thank you. Now that is some lobster in the rough. Small, medium, large. It's the gigantic mega one is called the LOL, lots of lobster. The OMG is like more of a traditional lobster roll in the, the hot dog sized bun. And then you've got the hamburger bun, which is just the regular roll. So the lobster rolls plus coleslaw plus the, the steamed in the ancient locomotive steamer. <laughs> and I love that they have their own potato chips too. That, adds the extra touch. <laughs> this looks amazing. Let's do this. Yeah. Something I do like about the rolls that they serve here is that they only toast the bun with a little bit of butter, but then serve the butter on the side. So really, it's to your liking how much butter you add, which I think it's a great thing. No, oh, that's uh, a sub sandwich yeah. lobster we roll. Might have drenched it's it in huge. Oil too. The drip. Yeah. Look at that. Am I going in? Go in. Yeah, go in. Oh. This is legend. Oh. <laughs> Cheat day. Mm. Cheat day. Wow. That's so bad. That's awesome. Mm. It's so sweet. And I was kind of nervous about the bread, but actually, yeah. you need this type of bread to hold it together. A baguette. I'm gonna go into the camera. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. A butter pour. Oh. Oh. Okay, a break. I oh, love yeah. the butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But just, yeah, the purity of the lobster, the fresh butter mm -hmm. pour, uncovered by anything. A very modest bun, so it's not too much bread. I gotta pick up the exploding, just bursting LOL. An insane amount of lobster fitted between a baguette.
Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I do like the thicker bread for this. I mean, you need the thicker bread for this, but the inside of it is crispy, holds it together, soaks up the butter. I mean, there's no other way to fit a pound of lobster within a roll than for it to be this robust and strong. Mm. I'm gonna just try some of this Jeffrey's yeah, Spanish nice. hot sauce yeah. on this last bite of lobster roll. Good. Mm. Vinegary, slightly spicy, and just like flavorful. Oh, it's great. It's Pilinar from Spain. Very famous. It's perfect with seafood. Yeah, I don't really you care. Like okay. knuckles. I like everything. I don't know how hot this is going to be. I go either. Can you give me a little more dousing of Yeah, the, me too. I'm salt. Kind of the to sacred try. and holy. Give me a shower. Give me a shower, please. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Ancient steamered. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Hit a nice shift. With no mayo, no butter. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Hit you later. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I like it. Juicy lobster. One bite or lobster tail? Go for it. Fans want to see it. Mm. That sauce is awesome. Really good lobster. You can't go wrong at Abbott's. The rolls, the steamed lobster, delicious. Oh, I gotta try the potato chips. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Yes. Even with the wind, yes. Okay. Um. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Abbott's own lobster potato chips. No, they're not actually lobster <laughs> potato chips, but there's a lobster on the package, which is cool. And I just love the how they have their own uh, potato chip. Mm. Yeah, just a classic potato chip. Thin, crispy, always salty. Abbott's in the Rough lived up to its name. Great place, amazing lobster, great lobster rolls, and especially the ancient steamed lobster. From here, we're going to another place a little ways down the coast that looks like just a gem of a lobster. It's a lobster landing, and that's coming up next as soon as we get there. Mark, this place is for us. It's shabby. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's shacky. Everything, all the lobsters come in here. They steam and crack them uh, in the morning, and then they bring them over here. They undercook them here, so that when you get them, they put them in hot water for seconds. Butter on the roll. So, Mark, you'll be showing everyone how that happens. It was about a 45-minute drive to get here. Welcome to Lobster Landing. I think it's even on a on a lean, it might, we might even be on a dock here, it might be floating, but literally it's straight sea to roll here. The lobsters come in, they're pulled out of one of these boats right here. Possibly a lobster boat coming in right now. Boat to roll? Boat steam. Boat to steam, boat to hut to roll. <laughs> That's the process. I love, this is one of the most iconic huts you will find. Can What's your name, man? Of course, yeah. What's your name, man? Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Yeah, Lobster Landing. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's pretty massively huge. Oh, yeah. Look at those claws. <laughs> wow, that's like, how heavy is that? Is that a nine pounder or a? It's a six pounder. Six pounder? Okay. Put but that claw, claw look at that claw. Put it by your head. That could like... It's bigger than your head. That claw? Yeah. I don't know how, how close I want to get to that claw <laughs> without it. That could take off your neck. <laughs> could be your last film. One claw is bigger than the other though. You know what I think? I think Always, right? I lost it and regrew it. Ah. Should I drop him back in? Yeah, you could just drop him back in.
Yeah. Yes, the producer. He's the, the, ah, exactly. he's the one. The producer was that little young man here. <laughs> the other one is following your step. So. Yes, he's next. So very an honor oh. to hang out with you. Oh, that's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank very much. you so much. Okay. What is what what is the just a little bit of the story of Lobster Landing? Lobster Landing. No, oh, the building is 110 years old. I've been wow. here. Uh, 26 here. Okay. We started from nothing and then we built it up. I learned the lobster because I come from the Alps in, ah. in Italy. So okay. No so you're question. originally from Italy. Oh yes. We started with, uh, with one little thing and then next and next and next and now you know, we expanded. We are very loyal to our fishermen. Mm. We have about 5,000 traps out here. So they go out every day. They bring lobster in. And then obviously we are responsible to buy whatever they catch. Uh, but we have this a small community, so we mm. are all together. We have a very small menu, but our integrity is the only thing that we are we, 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 we are we are looking for, we are counting for all of my people working here. Mm. That's all we teach them is you don't cut corners. That's what you are doing. So mm -hmm. if you are my customer in nineteen 97 or 2000 uh -huh. and you decide 20 years later to come here it's exactly the same lobster road that you had 20 years ago <laughs> yeah exactly the same bread fantastic and we didn't change it you know melted butter and lemon and a little toasted bun and that's it so but that's what it is you know it's easy to cut corners yeah. But if you cut corners sooner or later instead of going up you go down <laughs> i think that right there is the the secret, non-secret, yeah, well, to why it's so good. <laughs> why it's going to be so good. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. Ciao Gaetano, grazie di tutto. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. That just set the scene perfectly, talking with Bachi, the owner, who's so passionate about lobster, about treating it with respect and about supporting the community. I love their menu, it's very simple, just the hot lobster roll, just one option, keeping it simple, keeping it real, keeping it fresh. This is the lobster roll station over here. Sweet. We're rolling. Oh, so you kind of boil the little, yeah. So they're in cheesecloth and then we just have a quarter pound of lobster meat in there. Spread it out onto the roll. There are many different styles of how we're making them here. It just depends on who you kind of learn from. Sometimes it's a little spillage. It's okay. It's okay. Cut it in half. Put a little fresh lemon on there. And then we throw some butter on it. Would you be? And that's it. Yeah. Is there any butter on the rolls? No, we no, don't put it in it's the just, roll initially. It's just grilled. So while almost exclusively lobster rolls are served on a buttered, hot griddled roll, what I love that they do here is actually grill, toast with a grill, the rolls. It always looks like that. That's my signature. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look at that. Toasting. Perfect. All right. Is that sausage ready? Oh man, I've got to try this too. And this is an Italian sausage, right? Yes. Ho ho ho, the Italian sausage. <laughs> oh man, wow. That's the way I like it. Okay. The messier the better. Oh yeah. Oh okay, oh that's like me. <laughs> yep. You tidy, you can go to Thank bottle. you. That yeah, looks I'm amazing. Not, I'm, not. Uh, I'm born in Phoenix. Oh, really? oh, that looks perfect. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Oh, yeah, Cindy. <laughs> yeah, Cindy. Yeah, Cindy.
all that that inside out action is you've got it down so after the the rolls are toasted from the grill directly over here to this station where they keep the lobster hanging in a net draped in the boiling water almost yes. and then those skills she kind of just like <laughs> d she kind of just like drains it out yep. and then i love that inside out action where she just flips it yes. flips it oh you are good you are good Boom. that Boom. flip over direct not even spilling a a, oh, gri a, a string of happens. lobster sometimes it happens but <laughs> Sometimes I get lucky. You do an amazing job. Thank you. Squeeze of lemon and a ladle of melted butter. Wrapped up. Oh, that looks... I love the simplicity of it. Yes. But just the, the focus on quality and freshness. Thank you guys so much. That was awesome. Thank you. This is one lobster roll that you, wanna, you don't want to take too many photos of, but you want to eat it quickly, as quickly as possible because of the way it's toasted, it's hot, it's fresh. That butter and those grill marks on the roll. I even love how they wrap it in foil. That's a cool touch too. Weather is hardly cooperating, but that is okay because we just have to take a bite in front of the 120 year old lobster shack. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. oh boy. Oh wow. Oh boy. That's incredible. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. You guys are fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh that's that's stunning. That is incredible. A harmony. Stunning. It's a symphony. It's a sweet symphony of lobster roll in your mouth. Oh. I am sorry, I gotta have another bite. Yeah, I can't. We should not even talk yet. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. I love the play of lemon and butter. First time lemon has played a serious role in the lobster roll in our entire tour. It's true and I love it. And it doesn't, it's not overpowering either with lemon. It's just like perfectly dry. I think the lemon is the answer to the butter not wow. being too rich. You know, that the lemon just balances out the butter perfectly, balances out the lobster perfectly. Nothing is overpowering, but you taste the enhanced, condensed flavor of the sweet lobster. You can taste the honesty. Yeah. You know, in this lobster roll. Favorite lobster rolls have been the furthest north and the furthest south. Mm. <laughs> well, you know something I have grown to love also is the not chopped with a knife lobster, but hand shredded. And you can see that the stringiness. Look at how stringy that lobster is. You can tell no knife was used in the in the parting out of this lobster. It just makes all the difference in the texture of lobster for me because if you have those perfectly even knife chops, it just it doesn't taste as good. Mm. That lemon balances out the butter so well that you barely taste the butter. And they did put a whole little of butter onto it. That's world class. Um, it's hard to speak, I'm just so stunned. This place is amazing. One of the two best rolls we had up there with McLoons. It's just unbelievable. And they're so different. They're so different. So and different. they're so great. And Bachi, as you said, is just uh, a wonderful man. And uh, he's dedicated his life only to making lobster lemon perfect. This is one of those lobster rolls to compare to all other lobster rolls. And I now feel like we've really had <clears throat> a main lobster roll at its absolute peak. And now here we're having the Connecticut lobster roll at its absolute peak. Yep. There are wonderful lobster rolls in between, but these bookends up north in Maine with McLoon's and down south here at Lobster Landing uh, are truly two titans of the lobster roll world. Okay, I'm moving over to the table under the tent. Oh, sorry. Got to try the clam chowder, which also looks unbelievably good. Oh, wow. Just that poof of steam, clam aroma, smells incredible. There's potato. Oh, I like even how they dice the potatoes very fine. Sometimes you get big chunks of potatoes. This is really nice and fine, and that is extra rich and creamy. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's superb. Clam, cream, it's so silky smooth. Yeah, the, the fine little pieces of potato are great. That's, that's awesome, yeah. Not to mention on a rainy day when it's perfect for eating chowder. Finally, they also have an Italian sausage here. 
which looked incredible. Grills the Italian sausage. Adds on onions and then peppers. It smells and looks so good too. Mm. Oh yeah. That's delicious too. I taste some kind of a spice like caraway in there. Delicious. I mean, okay, you have to come here to eat the lobster roll. But if you're in the mood for an Italian sausage, why not? Oh man, and you should be in the mood for an Italian sausage. The more I chew, the more flavor comes out. Oh, it's so good. That's another thing that I love so much about any menu that you see anywhere. In, this, is, this is true around the world. If you see a menu with five things on it, sometimes even one dish just does it right. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Mm. Okay, good luck with the place. Appreciate it, thank you. Oh yeah, so the chowder is insane, yeah. It's perfect. Creamy and sweet from the clams. It's so sweet from the clams. You actually taste it. Yeah. You're a genius. Where's the bone? Yes, bachi. Bono, bono, bono. Vengo, vengo in California, vengo a trovare. Prego, prego. Ciao. Ciao, vero. Bachi. Va bene, va bene. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Bye. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Remember to the lobster fire. Thank you very, very much. That's a pleasure. Thank you. Good a luck pleasure with your also. Endeavor. Thank you, you are, so much. I know you are, you, are, you are well done, but thank you so much. Fun. This is this is everything that I love in a restaurant. Yes. Quality food, laid back and just the Integrity. hospitality and the, the love that's put into it. So thank you. Remember. Keep your integrity. Don't cut corners. <laughs> That's this is your future. What it is that you see is what it is that you have to portray to people, mm. so they can see the authenticity of what we are. Yeah. And if you do that, you will be very successful because the people they are looking for that. They are expecting that, mm -hmm. and we need you to let them know that we exist. Thank you. Thank you. Bachi. It's Thank you. Best true honor. honor. So nice. Thank you. Come back. <laughs> yes. It's <means> tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Those are some serious words of wisdom from Bachi to end this just a meal that you can taste the honesty and the quality and the care that's put into every step of the process. But absolutely fantastic i love everything this lobster landing is it represents everything that i love about food from the care the people the quality the deliciousness the freshness the location is spectacular on the lobster landing so that's going to wrap up this mini tour of connecticut on the coast two incredible lobster places i'll have all the information in the description box below that you can check out please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'd love to hear your comments in the section below also remember to subscribe for lots more food and travel videos thanks again for watching and i'll see you on the next video